Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another Dope or Nope review. I'm surprised I usually don't do two back to back, but uh, what do you know? I just got a ton of new things, so I'm really excited to get these videos out and tell you guys what I think about them. So today we are taking a look at the Master Palette by Mario. And when I open this up, you'll see that there are 12 neutral and jewel toned shades in here. Now, in this palette, you get six satin finish shades, three ultra matte shades, one velvet, and two metallics. So I feel like it's really well-rounded. It's got something for everyone, but if you're somebody who just loves all matte shadows, it might not be the one for you since you only get about three matte shades. So each shadow is about 0.02 ounces. Now this is the same as the Modern Renaissance palette here. I will say though when you're comparing them, the um, Master palette by Mario has 12 shades and this has 14. As you can see right here, this one is just a little bit tinier. It's obviously easy to travel with versus this one is a bit more longer, but this one you're gonna wanna take on trips more than you would this one per se. So my biggest thing about this palette here, although I just love, love, love the shades, I'm gonna have to say that the price is probably the biggest deal breakers for me. So the Master Palette is about $45, and that's pretty much the same price as the Modern Renaissance Palette. But the thing that I don't like about that is because you get two more shades in the Modern Renaissance Palette. So I feel like you're paying the same price for less. I will say absolutely that the quality of the Master Palette is super on point. Like, there is nothing bad about the quality of the shades. They are blendable. They aren't like crazy pigmented like the Juvia's Place palette, but they're buildable. So if you want to go for something subtle, you can do that. And you can build it up. You can use Fix Plus with them if you really want to make them like super like in your face, you know, va va voom. But I feel like it's a much more versatile palette. And something that I have to tell you guys about me is. When I first saw them talking about this palette, I was like, there is no way I'm gonna buy that. Uh, I got my Modern Renaissance palette. That palette doesn't even look like it would be remotely suitable for women of color. Like, nah, I'm good. And then I saw some swatches on Reddit of the colors on somebody that was more like olive skin tone, and I just fell in love with them. So, um, I couldn't find it anywhere in the store, so I actually ended up ordering it on Sephora. When I was looking for it in stores, I did find out that they are available to launch in Sephora and I believe Ulta as well, um, basically on October 20th. So I feel like as soon as they hit stores, they're gonna just sell out. This is a limited edition palette so I mean I feel like once people hear that they're just automatically gonna buy it so if this is something that you're interested in I say at least get it and then you can always return it if you don't like it but I feel like once you swatch these once you play with them you add them on your eyes there it's just inevitable that you're gonna want to keep it you know for me I don't have a lot of palettes that have a lot of natural you know like nude my nude colors <laughs> plus a little bit of sparkle, so I feel like this is something that I can take on a trip and be okay with not bringing other palettes, whereas I have some others in my collection that I'm like, no, 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 no. If I have this palette, I need to bring this so they complement each other while, you know, makeup junkies, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so I do have some swatches for you guys, so I'm going to show you some of those and then I'll be back and, you know, we'll just talk a little bit more about this palette. Okay, so starting off, this is Hollywood. It's more of like a metallic wheat gold, and it definitely has a satin finish. This next color is called NYC, and it has like a burgundy color on my skin tone. It has a satin finish, and I think it's just super gorgeous. 
Now this is called Kim. It's like a tan color and it also has a satin finish. It's great for like bronzy looks. And this is Muse, so it's a rose gold color and it also has a satin finish. Now here uh, we have Marina, which is like a champagne -y color. It's very metallic. And this next one is called Claudia. Notice that there is some fallout, um, but as you guys can see, it's very blendable. You just need to tap your brush before adding it to your eyes. Now here is Lola. So this is the first ultra matte color. It goes on very, very light. I like to use it as a transition color. You can definitely build it up if you want to. And this is Isabel. It's like a burnt orange color. It's also an ultra matte. The ultra mattes go on really light, but they are very buildable. And this is a Violetta, another ultra light. So it's just like a dark chocolate kind of e color. And this is Fifth Avenue. So it does have a metallic finish and it's kind of like a gold leaf shimmer. So this next is my favorite. It's called Brooklyn and it's an olive color. It's another one with a satin finish and it just looks gorgeous on my eyes. That's what I'm wearing in this video, by the way. Last but not least, we have Paris, which is a gilded brown and it also has a satin finish. And here's the money shot, all of the shades from the palette on my bronze melanated skin tone. <laughs> Okay, so now that you guys have had a chance to look at the swatches on my skin, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, I love this palette. I think it is a total dope, like for real, for real. Um, what kills me about it is that it's limited edition and I'm just hoping that everybody who wants to get this palette has enough time. I just love, again, how blendable the colors are, super soft, super buttery, and that they're buildable as well. And I just love the cohesiveness of all the colors in the palette. Everything goes together. You can create daytime looks, you can create nighttime looks. I think it's perfect for um, you know the workplace environment, and it's also really good for school looks. So I find that this pot has a lot of versatility. I think initially, you know, upon just you know looking at pictures and stuff like that online you might not think that it looks that great but when you see it in person it just is so beautiful and i actually thought the same about the modern renaissance palette when i saw it online and i'm so glad that i purchased that as well so i hope you guys really found this useful if you have any questions or any suggestions or you just want to say hey comment down below and again if you made it to the end of the video uh psh, Please subscribe if you're not already and give this a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! We will be comparing the Anastasia Stick Foundation to the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. Both are stick foundations.